No cutscene. Okay, interesting. Where's now? How can we help you, Vexen? It's not very often we see you, Topsan. I came to lend you a hand. You obviously believe this Sora has much potential, but I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value to us. Hmm. Well, here we go again. It's just an excuse, so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Whatever. You can do what you want. But you know, I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your ballet. Ballet? He's the product of pure research. What he actually is, is a toy. Hmm. You should just learn to be quiet. Anyway, since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. A humble gift to my elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. That card holds the memories of Sora and Riku's home. It's just a card. What good is that? With a little help from Namine, you'll have all the real Riku's memories. Maybe we can get her to make you forget you're nothing but a fake. In other words, we'll remake your heart so you can be exactly the same as the real Riku, okay? Oh. You want to remake my heart? The real Riku is a wimp who's afraid of the dark. What do I want with the heart of a loser? Any objections, Vexen? After all, you do want to test Sora, don't you? It must be done. How can you? Are you betraying me? I told you I would make good use of you, didn't I? No! Relax, kiddo. I don't think it's gonna hurt that much. I'll hurt you! <laughs> Stupid little toy. Think you could defeat me? Where would you ever get a thought like that? But look on the bright side. Along with everything else in your head, Namine will erase the memory of me knocking you flat. Instead, she will implant the loveliest little memories you could ever hope for. It's no big deal that they're all lies. No. Um, I think the reason with the um, like the dubs and the, the what they're saying is because a lot of these games are um, Japanese, so the um, the lip sync is done to Japanese, uh, the Japanese language, as opposed to English, which I think is probably why a lot of these things don't appear to match up. So. I believe that is why, Dark Rosen. Um, I think it's because I don't think, um, it would be as like I don't think it would be as well received if it was done like that. I'm not saying it's like the best way to do it, but I think the the Japanese kind of game developers sometimes like to play to the uh, the western markets so by like making it english over the top of the uh, japanese voices square enix does it a lot um I, the final fantasy 7 remake is exactly the same whereby it's um 
originally Japanese and then English over the top. But if you look carefully at the um, if you look carefully at the lips, it's kind of like exactly the same as this. But again, same company, so that's understandable. don't feel like a um, Japanese game with like English subtitles would be as well received as a English dubbed one, if I'm honest. That's just my opinion. All right. Let's see, actually, the one card there. Let's see if we can't uh, power through this. Um, doesn't look a particularly big area, if I'm honest. This seems like a, a room where I can spam jewels if I want to use them. Interesting. Oh, there's a nice collection of zero cards there that are all together, which. Um, too slow to get to them and reload but I didn't realize I hadn't reloaded my stack if I'm honest but I feel like every time you go to world and you get a new deck there's like a certain point in the deck that is like perfectly made for dueling and slights like here i've got three zero cards together which i'd be a fool not to take a advantage of that That's what we're going to try and do here. Oh, prison. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one, and uh, we catch you again real soon. Keep on cooking, buddy. I don't want to get confused.
I don't think I was ever going to get a jewel there. It's like I kept using three cards and I don't have anything with three in my deck. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? Get a load of this. Take a look at this. Let's try this way. Get wrecked, guys. Jeez, that was uh very uh, powerful. I'm liking this area for the slides, that's for, for the jewels, that's for sure. Definitely a good place it seems to grind for the, um, the trophy. We're going to need at some point. Interesting to see though whether or not like you get the same deck every time you come to this area or not. Or if it's like a different deck, ordered differently.
like the feeling like with the way the like the D points is working, it's almost a it's almost put in as like a mechanic to stop you spamming slides because they keep kind of raising the um, the cap of like when slides will work and you can end DP. So a DP slides on and attacks are more powerful. Elmer, yes, yeah, so it almost kind of seems like a way they've made the game like a little bit more like an extra layer of difficulty on. Riku's side. Take this. Like it. Your Majesty. Come on. Yeah. Take this. Like it. Okay. I still don't know how I feel about like the whole leveling up thing. I do kind of feel like it's not very... The worlds don't seem very balanced either. It's like some worlds seem harder than others. Lost a little bit of health, but it's fine. Uh, one more of these guys.
dueling light in this area seems to definitely be a better way to deal with everything. I don't know. I might have already said that, and if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. Um, whereas, like, some areas, the um, like slights, dealing with it with slights seems to be a better approach. This area definitely seems to be... Saying that, I mean this fight. In this fight, for example, definitely seems to be uh, more of a benefit to uh, using slides because the barrel spiders are uh, a bit rough. To remember, like the um, the large bodies actually need uh, it's five. We're so placing a shortcut there instead, then, which gives us like five cards to deal with that. Still no guarantee that it'll work every time, but gives us those few extra cards to attack with at least. Too far off the Hades fight here. Yes and no, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking I'm ready to go back to like normal Kingdom Hearts um, pipes, if I'm honest. Um, I was, because I didn't stream last week, I spent a lot of time on Sora's, so I am at a point now where I can't do anything else towards Platinum now for Sora's story until I finish Riku. So literally, as soon as I finish Riku's story, um, yeah, about 12 weeks, I would agree. Um, as soon as I finish Riku's story, I get like the last four cards and that'll finish off everything for the Platinum for Sora's story. And it's just grinding out like the level like 99, I think it is on this side, which I mean, we're already at 34, so we're a third of the way there. 
So I don't know how bad it's going to be like grinding with Riku's. It was quite nice with Sora that once I got, I think it was the uh, Mega Flare um, and the, I can't think what the other one, the other slight is, but it's quite nice that you just like instantly end fights if you needed to. Um, I also agree with that statement about like, I've been ready for 12 weeks. I think as the playthroughs gone on towards the end, I actually quite liked it more than I did at the start. At the start, I found it very samey, samey repetitive. But as I got like towards the end, some of the boss fights like really made me think and I had to come up with some like game plans and actually started to build my decks. So I think by the end of the game, I've got more, in I've got more into it than I had at the beginning. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting game, really. Um, I feel it's a very re rewarding game as well. I'm, I feel like very. I'm, I'm really happy that I stuck with it um, and that I got to the end. So yeah. Anyway. Let's see if we can uh, deal with Hades here. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm I'm trying too much for combos there, so maybe we'll see how we get on this time going. Just for um, sorry, not combos, jewels. So maybe this time we'll try a, a slight approach here. Literally, like, how different those last two boss fights could have been. It's like, like I felt like Ursula was about dueling, whereas Hades is literally just straight up slighting. That was crazy. Um, United Football, do you reckon Football Manager 2024 would be a good game for me to try? Um... I mean, ultimately, it comes down to being a strategy game. So how do you feel about strategy game types? It's probably the way I would kind of like go in with that. 
Uh, me personally, I always like the thought of a strategy game, but I, I, I really do suck them. So um, I kind of start them, I play for them for a little bit, and then I just like completely and utterly fall out of love with them. The other thing I would say is like how much you know about football. You know, I would say if you're not into football and you don't know like lots about football, it's probably not the right game for you. feel like even though like you're not into football you still kind of like need like an element of um football knowledge to enjoy a football manager game Yeah. I mean, I don't really play football manager myself. Um, I mean, I've, I've played, I've played it in the past, like years and years and years ago. Um, and although it's kind of like a, it is like a strategy game, and there's like all of the, like the transfers and everything, which is pretty simple to grasp. I do feel like you kind of need like a general understanding of football and like different tactics and formations and um things like that so i kind of feel if you're not a football person it, i don't think the game would be particularly great for you I mean, if it's on Game Pass and, you know, it's not going to cost you anything, give it a go. Why not? You might come out of this and be a, a, a budding football fan by the end of it. <laughs> Wrexham. You're in the Sunderland one? No way. I need to watch um, This Is Wrexham. See, for me, my wife is like, she can't stand any sport. So, um, yeah, anytime like my team's on the telly or anything like that, it's like a uh, a bit of a yikes like I, I there's only like two times i'm not i'm not a big sport person myself like i don't watch a lot of sports two times i ever want to watch sport or three times is probably if it's like the world cup or the european championships so i like to watch england um if my team's on telly which now they're in the premier league is a bit more often or i like formula one so i don't like watch sport constantly but but trying to be able to watch sport in my house can be a bit of a, a, a challenge, so... <laughs> well, I, I know all about struggles. I'm a, I'm a Nottingham Forest fan myself, Hypes, so... Um, you know, I know we're in the Premier League now, but... Like, 23 years of struggle is... Um, I know where the struggles are, trust me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why so glum, Namine? Is there something that's been troubling you? 
Are you feeling awful about tinkering with Sora's memory? Or maybe you... Cut it out, Larxene. Namine? She doesn't want to remember Sora. Is that so? Don't worry. Whatever's hurting you, I'll make it go away. I swear it on this. The good luck charm you gave me. See ya. Well, she went and truly really tampered with his memories. That's just amazing. It's almost like you completely made his heart from scratch. Nice touch with the good luck charm. I didn't know you could use memories to transform objects like cards into keepsakes. You used the same trick on Sora, right? You changed Kairi's good luck charm with your magic, didn't you? <laughs> it won't be long before Sora forgets about Kairi completely. And then he'll be all yours to- He won't forget. Huh? No matter how much I change his memory, Sora will never forget Kairi. Memories of me. More false memories of me will just make his feelings for Kairi even stronger than before. Because I'm the shadow of Kairi. What's your problem with that? That should be your incentive not to screw anything up. Just do a good job rewriting Sora's heart. Then you can actually be somebody and no longer just Kairi's shadow. You'll be real in Sora's heart. Who's Kyrie's shadow? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright, well, since we're about to start a brand new floor, I think that's probably a good place to wrap it up. So, thanks everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Um, as I said at the top of the stream, um, I will be doing a bonus stream on Friday. We'll be playing some more Kingdom Hearts to make up for... Um, um, not being able to stream last week because of uh, my injury and stuff and not being uh, being in a hospital. So, um, yeah, we'll be bonus streaming on Friday. More Kingdom Hearts, uh, Retain of Memories getting towards the end. So I think possibly, depending on, like, how difficult bosses are and things, uh, a couple more streams and we might even be done with uh, Retain of Memories, which is uh, really cool as well. So we're going to throw a raid, as always, to Marsh, who is playing some um, Celeste. He's practicing seaside speedruns. So that's an awesome game, if you don't know and haven't played it. Uh, I would highly recommend you go and check it out. But uh, if not, thanks for everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. Until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care, stay safe, all the usual jazz. Until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.